Hey, what's up, everyone? We hear a lot of motivational stuff about never giving up, but I want to share a story with you of what it really means. Not only was I thrown in jail at age 17 for a DUI, but I also got the living crap beat out of me with a broken jaw and fractured eye socket. A lot of people think never giving up is tied to a thing or an event, but what it really comes down to is the foundation of your mindset. So after I got out of jail, it could have been so easy to conform back to my old ways and also have a victim mindset. And for a while I did have a pity party. I had let everyone down so much and to top it off, I got the living crap beat out of me. I had all these crybaby excuses. I was so intoxicated, I was passed out in my front seat and this guy beat the living crap out of me, blah. Then I realized I put myself in that situation. I also could have killed someone with how drunk I was driving. Thank God I didn't. So my journey of never giving up began. First of all, I started to change everything about myself. I started going to the gym. It didn't happen overnight, it took time, but I stopped hanging out with the people I was hanging out with. I fired my flaky friend. I remember telling my dad I was gonna go to college, I was gonna change, I was gonna do something with my life. And he said, you talk a lot of talk, but your actions show nothing. And so that became another part of my journey of never giving up. He was right, I had to prove myself, and so I did. I started developing my muscle of never giving up. Because it doesn't happen overnight, just like when I started going to the gym. It takes time. Don't get me wrong, there's times I failed, there's times I temporarily did give up, but my foundational why always got me back up. In college, I even dropped speech class three times because I was terrified to speak in public. I also got a D in creative writing. The goal for that season in my life was to graduate from college, and I didn't give up. I persevered, I pushed through, and I graduated giving up is like a muscle, a mindset, a foundation. Each time you don't give up, you put a new brick into that wall. For me, college, I realized, was more than just about college. It was about proving to myself that I could complete something that was out of my comfort zone. The dude that was in jail at age 17 that got beat up, that was getting in trouble, that wasn't supposed to make it in life, was able to prove, yes, you can. What my dad said to me, he said, I'm so proud of you, son, because I know school was hard for you but you never gave up. This is what I mean by it became a mindset. It became part of who I was. When the tough got going, when I went to start my company, Dream would come in my head and said, who are you to think you can do this? The 17 year old kid that was in jail. Then I remember, I can do this. I persevered before, I'll do it again. I had to face adversity at a whole new level when we went to open my company, Dream Shine up 10 years ago, but my foundation was strong. As I got through what I did with DreamShine, continued to grow our company to be successful, then I took it to another level by writing my book. I've been married for almost 10 years now. We have four awesome kids. We have my wonderful nephew, BK. And when the tough got going, we face massive adversity in our marriage, as all marriages do at some point. I didn't give up. Writing my book, The Story of You, and I remember getting that D in creative writing and my professor writing on my paper, you have no understanding of that which it takes to be an author. Easy? No. I pushed forward one day, one step at a time, like the tortoise and the hare. I didn't give up. Thank God every day that my dad had the tough love to say, show me, stop talking, prove it with your action. So the dude that was in jail at age 17, the dude who his professor told him, you have no understanding of that which it takes to be an author. Bam, there it is. Published author with a foreword written by New York Times bestseller Dan Miller, The Story of You. I'm not saying any of this to brag. What I'm saying is never giving up is a mindset that all of you can have. And it was modeled for all of us by my man, Jesus Christ. What if he gave up when the going got tough? We'd all be screwed. So what it really means to never give up, why I need you to never give up is because you have a responsibility to be the best you. The world needs you to never give up on that and it's a lifelong journey. All of you on here are hungry, you're serious, or else you wouldn't even be watching this. So if you're ready to take your dream to the next level and beyond, let's do this. Shot this, jump onto Amazon, grab my book, The Story of You, and then send me a snap of it and I'll have a surprise for you. You're here with a solid dose of some motivation. <laughs>
And especially as I saw last night, it causes disappointment. I've often said a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory by, but, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on.